simple, easy and fast dodge and burn in Photoshop. In this Photoshop retouching tutorial, I will show you my secret technique to add sculpture like dodge and burn effect to portraits in a non-destructive way. First what is dodging and burning? Dodging and burning is an extremely powerful technique that can sculpt, contour and enhance the details of your subject. This is a very popular process that gives prominence to the existing highlights and shadows in subject's face and gives the face lots of depth and dimension for a really pleasing look. I take the extra time to do this to nearly every image I retouch. So for me it's almost like a finishing step that gives the image that extra depth. This method requires a great deal of skill to improve a photo but I made it a lot more simple and easier. Ok let's get started. Here is the image we are going to use for our dodging and burning tutorial. If you want this photo to practice on, you could download from the link given in the description. First duplicate background image. Rename the layer to dodge. Change the layer blending to screen. This step lightens the overall image. Now double click on the layer to open blending options. Go to blend ifs section. The important slider here is the underlying layer. We need to minimize the lighten effect from the shadows and keep the effect on forehead, nose, cheekbone, chin and etc. So drag the black triangles to the right until you will see that the particular lighten areas are influenced. Now you may notice that we selected the specified highlight areas. Now hold option or alt key, clicking on the triangles splits them so we can feather the blending. Keep an eye on the image and slowly drag the black handles to add depth to the highlights. Click ok to apply the changes. Duplicate background layer again. Rename layer to burn and move the layer to the top. Change the layer blending to multiply. This step darkens the overall image. Now double click on the burn layer to open blending options. This time we need to minimize the darken effect from the highlights. So drag the white triangles to the left until you will see that the particular influenced areas to appear. Once we selected the specified shadows areas Again hold option or alt key clicking on the triangles splits them again feather the blending effect. Click ok to apply the changes. We successfully lighten and darken particular areas of an image. Now group the top two dodge and burn layers ctrl plus G. We need to blend this group with the bottom original background layer. So add layer mask by clicking the mask icon. Select the layer mask and go to image tab and choose apply image. Keep everything to default and click ok. I am keeping group opacity at 100% because I am happy with the result. If necessary we can lower the group opacity to control the depth. Now let's enhance the lips. Add solid color fill adjustment. Double click on the adjustment layer to open blending options. Drag the black triangles to the right to lighten lips element. Hold option or alt key to split the triangles and feather the blending. Click OK. Select color fill layer mask and invert it. Ctrl plus I. Now grab soft brush and paint on lips with white color.
rename layers to lips. Similarly, let's enhance the eyes. Add solid color fill adjustment. Choose white color. Double click on the adjustment layer to open blending options. Drag the black triangles to the right to lighten the eyes in detail. Then hold option or alt key to split the triangles and feather the blending. Click OK to apply the changes. Select color fill layer mask and invert it. Grab soft brush tool and paint on eyes with white color. All the layers are editable, so we can go to any settings anytime and tweak the layers to our desire. Rename layer to eyes. That's it we are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you want this PSD file, download from the link given in the description or visit photoshopdesire.com. If PS Desire has helped you learn or improve in Photoshop, please contribute and support me on patreon.com slash PS Desire. See you again in next tutorial and take care.